Welcome to this tutorial video. In this video, we'll set up a basic motion analysis of a crane arm. So you'll see how easy it is to just set up a motion analysis within Inspire Motions. So I'll just quickly go ahead and load up the model. Okay. Uh, let's run an initial uh, motion analysis to see if uh, there is something with the model. So we just run it up will show me due to gravity load it will fall off right so now let's quickly go ahead and step by step create connection so first I'll just give the condition for grounding so this is the ground that I want to be okay there's no rigid group uh, right now uh, now comes the joints right if I just click on joints it will automatically identify the joints within the model and once I click the check mark will create those joints again I can run the motion analysis and see so yeah it's falling under gravity load so joints are successfully created and are acting the way that I wanted now I need to create actuators right so I'll just go into actuators it will automatically detect where actuators can be placed I'll click the check mark and the actuators are placed now I can give the conditions for the actuator, the displacement and all. And just double click. Let's say I give it 60 mm in here. And similarly I give on the other side. When I am good to go, I can just again go ahead and run the analysis. And see how the arm is behaving. Now say if I want any uh, outputs from the actuators, I can have that. So angular displacements, velocity, all these data can be taken out so that while I'm designing the actuator or selecting uh, from the market, I can use these parameters. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, please let me know if you have questions. Uh, please write down in the comment section. I'll try to assist you. Okay. Thanks for connecting. Have a great day.